Man is dead tonight after being taken into police custody Saturday evening. According to Memphis police, they tried to stop the man for reckless driving Saturday night. That's when there was some sort of confrontation that left that man in critical condition. WRG's Ashley Paul is live tonight to tell us what happened during that traffic stop and where the case currently stands tonight. Ashley. Yeah, Greg, well, TBI confirms to us tonight that 29 year old Tyree Nichols is dead. Now, TBI took over the case from MPD after Nichols was brought to the hospital with what the family is calling significant injuries. Family is mourning the death of 29 year old Tyree Nichols. They say he was a father and an avid skateboarder. Memphis police say they got into a confrontation with Nichols after attempting to stop him for reckless driving here at Reigns and Ross Road on Saturday night. Nichols was able to get away, but according to MPD, they caught up with him and another confrontation happened. Now, we don't know exactly what they mean by confrontation, but according to TBI, District Attorney Steve Mulroy called them in for a use of force investigation. Mulroy tells WREG he can call TBI in at his discretion, which he has done seven times since he took office in August. After the second confrontation, Nichols complained of shortness of breath, according to MPD, and was taken to St. Francis Hospital. He was in critical condition until he died today. In a statement, D.A. Mulroy says Nichols' death does not change the use of force investigation, which continues. The officers involved are routinely suspended pending the outcome of the investigation. TBI, in a tweet, says the investigation remains active and ongoing. Meanwhile, family members tell us that Nichols was unarmed at the time of the incident. They say they hope those who are responsible are brought to justice and that justice is served. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.